Hey yo guys, welcome back to another graphic arc video. It's been ages since I recorded one, but uh, you know I was on vacation again in Mallorca and stuff. But I am back now and uh, you know, FSR 3 released uh, a few days ago and uh, apparently it's in Immortals of Avium and Forspoken. Here I am using Forspoken demo because uh, look at these guys. It's a Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 also available in demo for you to test out instead of buying this game for 80 euros and uh, to see if FSR 3 with frame generation is actually working or all Inter Arc A770 or not. Well, I'm actually here to uh, help you figure this one out and uh, yeah. Not much of a difference here, guys, compared to XESS, and uh, you will see later, FSR3 is stuttering quite a bit, at least in both <laughs> of the titles. <laughs> so, uh, us Interarc users probably will have to still stick to our uh, XESS, which looks better, works better, at least in my opinion. Uh, the frame generation, you will see what I mean, why XCSS is working better than FSR3 with frame generation. But uh, yeah, let's go to the game and... Uh, oh, wait, let me turn on first. Uh, or uh, shall we test it off? Yeah, let's first test it without and see what kind of frames we get. And then we'll turn this on and uh, see what's going on. <laughs> and it rhymes even. Look at this, guys. Okay, stuttering like crazy. Oh my god, FSR 3. It's uh, performing really bad, in my opinion. Uh, in the recording, right now when I'm, uh, you know, uh, doing the montage, uh, the editing, uh, it looks a bit better than what uh, live gameplay was, but... <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure why it stutters, maybe it's game's fault, I also, I heard in Immortals of Amium that it works apparently better for in generation than uh, DLSS one, but it stutters there as well, so it could be still the problem of FSR 3 not being fully released to the public, uh, what's it, um, is it a uh, first three months q1 2024 that it will be released with lots of games and everything i heard that you can actually use hyper v or whatever that is uh, in uh, amd control center but you need uh, rx 7000 series of gpus so yeah not the thing we need focusing here but uh, let's see you will see what i mean look at this guys xss quality less uh, frame time graph is more smooth less stutter i think also the visual quality is a bit better okay you know this uh, delays and lags and stuff it's because the game is running at 19 fps <laughs> but uh yeah that you know you probably won't be playing this game because uh, i also haven't been able to finish it myself even on my rtx 3090 and it's working okay there but just not my type of a game, it's ah, it's really rough, it's really rough, but uh, I mean it gets FSR uh, 3 and uh, frame generation, so <laughs> let's test this out <laughs> and see if it will work on our Intel Arc GPUs, apparently you need either A770 or A750, I will test it out on A380, but uh, I think on A380 the FSR frame generation and super resolution is not available, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But so I heard, at least for the frame generation. Obviously, FSR 3 will be available. But uh, yeah, there there is no difference, look guys, when we turn it off or on in for Spoken. We still get 28 FPS. Look at our frame time. What's happening? We don't have, we have really good frame time, apparently. Look at the graphical glitches, guys. Man, it's generating frames like crazy, this FSR. No, no, this is not uh, working fine, perfectly fine on uh, Intel Arc GPU. I have to test it on NVIDIA and uh, AMD. I still have some GPUs here. But on Intel Arc, on Inforspoken, I'm using the latest driver. And it's, uh, yeah not working good maybe download demo it's like 40 gigabytes uh, you test it out if you have interlarg graphic card and uh, let me know if it's working for you 
Look at these guys. It even stutters when we turn on off frame generation and just use FSR3. I don't know. Use XCSS if you will be playing for spoken and cap your FPS at 30. Maybe lower some stuff. Uh, because I'm using maximum settings right now to get that playable 30 <laughs> FPS experience and uh, go through it if you can. It's not Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> But yeah, okay, that's it for Forspoken, French Generation not working on A770, but uh, what if we move on to Immortals of Avium, let's go, it's uh, rough, you know guys, this game is rough, on, even on A770, on most GPUs it's rough, you get around 30 FPS here, look at this, when this is I think with uh, FSR quality, 1440p, though uh, mixed high settings, but uh, yeah, it's not why we are here, we are here about French Generation and uh, okay guys, in Immortals of Avium, it's working, hmm, let's see, we get 20 FPS more, oh, yo, maybe it won't be, oh, yo, oh my god, it's not working, I mean, it is working, but the stuttering, look at this stuttering, guys. <laughs> I would say look at the frame time graph, but uh, doesn't seem to be showing correctly because it's generating frames, so it thinks it's really low. Even though, uh, oh, look, now that we get about 50 FPS, the frame time graph is dropping uh, lower. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, for frame generation to probably work, you need to at least hit 60 FPS without any upscaling for it to make any sense. Because otherwise you just get massive stuttering, at least here in Immortals of Avium. Oh my god, let's turn it off and see if it's any better. Okay, now FPS drops to about 23, 24. But uh, look, I mean... It's lagging because there's not much FPS, but there's no this stutter that it gets induced because of frame generation. Let's quickly just do native AA, maybe. Maybe this will fix it. Go on. Let's see. Oh my god, the UI switching is so low. Eh, it's not better. Let's try performance and see how much FPS can we get. Can we get 50? No, still no. So, uh, yeah, you, we will have to suffer through stuttering and <laughs> if you want to use French generation in Immortals of Avium. And by the way, I recommend you to buy this game. I wasted my money. Look, truth be told, I wasted my money. I, I won't be finishing this game. I, I cannot. I just cannot. But uh, for a video purposes to showcase this kind of stuff, who would have thought that this game would get FSR 3 plus French generation first? So, <laughs> yeah, guys. Uh, I'm back again, thanks for watching my videos, you know, subscribe, like, share, you know, the drill if you want me to make more content. Yeah, oh, Sunday today I will do some more resting, but tomorrow back to work and uh, also back to making more videos. Yeah. I'm back. Let's go. Ooh, come on. Okay, for the end of the video, here we have Templar Sparrow asking us something interesting. Since, uh, look, here's what he has to say. Since the title wattage can be lowered using maximum power savings plan via power options, which we already know, we tested this out before. Some people say that if you have a single monitor with a lower resolution, it will consume way less set, uh, wattage, like 5 watts at idle. You know what? i never been able to get 5 watts at idle, but the 15 was the max that I had it lowered. Maybe when it's turned off monitor, it takes 5 watts, but one it, when it's on and in idle it's usually around 15 watts if you ask me uh, what I want to know is that is if we underworld the ARC A770 in this in our case and turn on the maximum power savings plan when you have set the resolution to something like 1080p or maybe even 720p what could be the idle wattage you know what you know what interesting thing oh by the way this was cave in Mallorca dragon's cave oh my god it was really beautiful but yeah, now I'm back, let's test this out. You know, I already have here Intel Arc uh, OC tool installed. We go here, display settings, and uh, yeah, first we have here 1440p. 1440p at idle, 
takes around 20 watts, you know, it's bouncing up and down because computer thinks it's doing something. But uh, yeah, let me quickly close down Firefox and some other stuff here. Okay, should be better now, I think. But yeah, the usual idle watts is around 20 when using 1440p. So if we lower here, go to 1080p, what happens then? Let's see, we get any lower reading? Yeah, now it's more stable at around 17, 16, 15 maybe. Okay, so uh, in theory, lowering resolution does actually lower what idols in this case on Intel Arc, but uh, yeah, what if we go maybe 720p? What happens at 720p? Will we get even lower reading than before? 14, 15. So yeah, the resolution doesn't really mean that much once you go below 1080p. You know what? Let's just test this OG old school resolutions and uh, see 800 by 600. Will it give a lower reading? 13. Okay, it's more or less 15 than it was before, but it goes till around 12. Not sure how people get 5. But uh, yeah, that's it. You know what? And now let's test your theory as well. We go here, change to 1080p, keep settings. I will do some quick undervolting here. We will do 2400 megahertz because that's how it is. And uh, point 0.71, I think, was the. Uh, yeah, okay, guys. I don't, I don't remember my perfect undervolt settings anymore with the newest driver. Seems this uh, froze my screen. Let me just quickly restart. Okay, I'm back. These are more better stock settings. <laughs> but I remember that didn't work. But if I set it to 2200 and then put uh, 0.71. Will it freeze now? No, now it doesn't freeze because, yeah, this is more stable. I think it's 0.69. Ooh, 69, yes. Uh, but, yeah, let's check now what the reading says when we undervolt our GPU. Hmm? What do you think, guys? Will it work better? Will it work lower? Still around 15 watts. So, yeah, it's safe to say that undervolting won't help your idle watts. I mean, not that there's much of a difference between having 5 or 15, but, uh, yeah, let me just quickly go to 720p, maybe. Maybe this will now work even lower, let's see. Yeah, that's it. I, at least maybe this is on my X570 Extreme motherboard. Maybe that's the issue, but I have it set in BIOS to power save, so... Uh, I don't know, you tell me down in the comments below how you achieve 5 watts if you have Intel RK770 or A750 and you actually manage to get 5 watts either. But uh, yeah, the minimum you probably get will be 15 no matter what you do, Underworld GPU or yeah, that's it. I uh, hope this uh, helps you out in uh, your purchase. I advise you to Underworld if uh, electricity bill is the problem or maybe get a... GPU that doesn't take so much power up to you, but uh, yeah, hope I answered your question. Thanks for watching the videos, and uh, see ya probably tomorrow in the next one. Yeah, I'm back now, so that's it.